Hi, I'm Kieran, West Michigan Airport Authority's Communications Assistant. I'm here at Metal Flows Hangar at the West Michigan Regional Airport to interview Gary Vanderveen. Gary Vanderveen, I'm the pilot for Metal Flow Corporation, and this is our hangar and our Citation 2 Bravo and then a Cessna 206 over there in the corner, one of our tenants. Uh, the reason for the hangar is a place to keep the airplanes, but the reason for the airplanes are to save time. If time is valuable, it makes sense to fly. Uh, Tuesday was Dallas, round trip was 4.5 hours down and back. We had seven people in the airplane. Uh, for them to fly down airlines or drive down and they had to do an overnight uh, and get home late the next day and all that, that's the reasons for corporate aviation. Uh, airplanes save time uh, and they make people a whole lot more productive. Uh, we're in Holland, Michigan, but I was in Dallas on Tuesday, tomorrow's Youngstown, uh, next week's Columbus, and then I got a Carolinas trip, and we're doing California after that. So, uh, Holland, Michigan, but Metal Flow with its airplane and the people that release the airplane to we go all over the place, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit later on a map on the wall or uh, some of the places that we go. You mentioned something, Gary, about the fuel farm? Uh, yes, uh, we've got a 12,000 gallon tank next door, so that uh, part of my job is to fly the airplane, but it's also uh, to get ready for the trip tomorrow. I'll be pushing it out and uh, pumping the fuel into the airplane and uh, results in cost savings that uh, allow us to operate very economically uh, in the citation. The airplane being a time savings and you know having a picture in your mind is always easier than listening to me talk. And here's the picture uh, of where we go, uh, Holland, Michigan, and then all the dots represent the places that uh, I've been to in the last 12 years for uh, Metal Flow. Mostly it's Carolinas, a lot of our automotive parts business is there. The Mexico stuff is automotive parts customers as well too. Uh, and then some scattered stuff out here. We've got a customer in uh, Ogden, Utah. Go there about uh, once a month or so. And it just really brings home, I think, that theme of, uh, we're out of Michigan, but our business is, you know, around the U.S., around uh, North America, and then uh, overseas yet as well, too. Got about 190 people that we employ, and uh, you know, back to the airplane thing, it really does get us business. It helps us uh, make product, hire people, and generate uh, jobs here in Holland, Michigan. So. And a little plug here for Wings of Mercy. Uh, I think, yeah, 114,000 miles is what our airplane and myself has flown for Wings of Mercy. We had some great, uh, dramatic, I mean, my regular passengers don't give me a hug at the end of the trip. Mm -hmm. Wings of Mercy passengers do. I always think of Tim Bosch, uh, his mom, Deb, uh, taking Tim, who has brittle bone disease, to uh, Montreal, to the... Uh, I think it's the Shriners Hospital out there. The kid's growing up and you know nobody thought he was going to be around. This is the kid had, his bones were the consistency of wet sawdust. He'd roll over and break a rib. But I flew him to Montreal, I don't know, 20 some times. Uh, and he's a better person after having all those treatments out there. So, like some mercy stuff, it's pretty fun. I believe in aviation, I believe in this airport. I believe in how I love this town and I love what the airport does for it because it really does put this fairly small town on the world map. Thanks, Gary.